stand by the rod of the apostolic i move you forward moving to your destiny the first thing that the prayer that engenders dominion produces is access to the voice of god if god is not speaking into your life you'll be in trouble it is by prayer that divine purposes are born when a man who dominates by prayer is praying one of the things that he catches from the realm is the voice of Yahweh. the reason is because dominion moving to your destiny moving to prophecy in the name of jesus they should see the image of Christ who is the invincible God so when worldliness comes to a man it is not just about the desires it's about a strategy to blind him and in Ephesians 1 4 18 it said that when they are blinded they are exonerated from the commonwealth of Israel so when the devil wants to separate you from what is yours he will come through worldliness I've said it again and again You'll find a Christian listening to secular music and then you'll confront him and say, is it a sin? It's not a sin, but it's worldliness. And if you continue for a while, your eyes will become blinded to the things of the spirit. And if your eyes become blinded, after a while, you will be exonerated from the commonwealth of Israel. So the things that is our corporate inheritance, you can no longer access it. It's an enemy of the believer. Worldliness is so subtle you may not even notice it it begins with wearing a jean that is torn and when they ask you say that's raining fashion is it an is it fornication no it's not fornication is it lying no it's not but it's worldliness after a while you will discover that your prayer life begins to go down you won't know what is happening because when you open that gate you have made a room for the devil and the bible said in ephesians 4 27 he said giving no place to the devil one of the ways to give place to the spirit that blinds men is through worldliness. That's why when the sisters begin to dress half naked, they don't know when they become arrogant. They think they are trying to defend their, their womanhood. From arrogance, they become bold. From boldness, they become immoral. From immorality, they become pregnant. From pregnancy, they become abortus. And from abortion, they lose their womb. And they didn't know that it was a slippery ground. That was luring them. The guy begins by bobbing a particular kind of hairstyle because that's what is raining. After a while, he puts up the language from the street. After a while, the language begins to influence his thought pattern. After a while, he finds himself on the street. After a while, he sees himself smoking in their hair. After a while, church becomes a place for Jew people. And after a while, he's shot dead under the bridge. And he doesn't know what happened. It's called worldliness. You are blinded until you are killed. The way to deal with the flesh is to bring your thoughts to captivity and to renew your mind. The way to deal with worldliness, number one, is to come out from among them. In Isaiah chapter 52 verse 11, he said,